Sam Roberts after the game uh, with Nottingham Rugby uh, managed to catch a word with Daryl Vienendahl uh, washed and dried and a little bit warmer thawing out I would have thought Daryl what a game uh, to play in yeah I mean I think that's one of those that you'll uh, remember till your dying day not necessarily because of the rugby I'd like to say that's definitely all the reasons why but no yeah good win a good win a good win and that was probably the most important thing today wasn't it yeah I mean uh, we set out some targets going into the uh, last few weeks of the season and saying that we want to make this a bit of a fortress and we don't want to lose here no matter who comes we want to back ourselves and uh, we did that today it was very difficult I think uh, to, to get any sort of rugby going with the, the stop and start it was always going to be difficult but in phases we did the right thing and we scored a good try yeah I mean in the conditions like that you just got to keep it simple really and go with the flow almost and um, we've got to sort of play off your wits and just react to to what happens and we did that well and Joey, Joey van der Mol sort of brushed a few of them over and just went over. Thank you very much for your time, Darren. Cheers. Cheers, Sam. Cheers. Hello, Gregor. Hello, oh, We're going to have a chat with you. Are you eating something? What are you eating? Oh, a bit banana of cake. A bit of banana bread. Let's have a quick chat and I'll make it quick because it is pretty cold out here. <laughs> How was that as far as the Blues performance? Um, probably not the best performance, which sounds odd, but the, you play the conditions. So we, I think we, we played the conditions really well, um, especially that second half. We've got Jakey just sit in a pocket and, and bang it down there and, and hit it straight down the middle. Works because in that, they, for them to play out in that second half was just going to be a nightmare. Uh, it was a nightmare. Have you seen conditions like that before? A couple of times, but when I've, I don't think I've ever had a ref postpone a half-time by about five minutes because of a storm that's come through. So... It's an odd one because we sit in the change rooms we don't know what's going on and then come out and all of a sudden there's this water everywhere that wasn't really there before. So. One for the purists, one for the forwards, I think, and, and uh, they battled well today. Yeah, we did. It's always a hard one. Um, I think it's sort of line-up point of view. It's going to be tough because of the wind. Rain you can deal with, it just tests your skills, but a lot of, a lot of the wind um, makes it really tough. And then um, scrummaging, again, you, if you slightly lose your foot in or somebody gets slightly better position, you can um, have a turn of the scrum. So. Onwards and upwards and a W on the board, and I suppose that's what it was about today. That was about, it was a massive game in terms of league positions because of where they are um, compared to us. They're just below us on the table, so that opens up a little gap between us and them. Um, and it's a stepping stone that hopefully we can go on and um, sort of move forward in the next few weeks. Thanks for your time, Gigi. Cheers, mate.